Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you some ChatGPT formulas that will generate prompts for different AI image generators like Stable Diffusion, Midjourney, and Illustrate AI. I'll be using ChatGPT version 3.5 because it generates faster and it's also available for free users. Let's try the first formula, which I use for illustrations. It'll generate three different prompts for me. The formula includes the subject, environment description, art style, color, light, and mood or emotion. I've made a list of art styles so I can pick what I like. You can add one or more styles, depending on your preference. The formula also lets me input my own subject and will generate three prompts based on that. After running the formula for the first time, it gives me some prompts right away. If you type the word more and press enter, it'll give you more random illustrations. You can keep saying more as many times as you want and pick your favorites. Or, you can input your own subjects and details. For example, you could say a bunny with a hat. You can be as simple or as detailed as you want, and ChatGPT will try to create something based on that. You can also control how the prompt looks by saying always start with a portrait of. This will make sure it generates prompts for portraits so we see more details in our generated images. And because it remembers the conversation, you can add extra details like make it cute and adorable. If at any point the chat starts to give you weird results that you didn't ask for, you can just start a new chat and use the formula again. Here, I tested the prompt on three different AIs. At the bottom, you can see the prompt I used. On the left is the image made by Stable Diffusion, in the middle is Midjourney, and on the right is Illustrate AI from Design Bundles. For the second test, I went for a cute cartoon dog with glasses. And for the third test, I chose a serene beach painting. Let's start a new chat and try the second formula. This one will generate prompts for 3D renders. It's similar to the first formula, but I made it so it always starts with professional 3D render of. Instead of having art styles, I created a list of 3D render engines where you can add the ones you like. Right from the start, you'll get some interesting prompts to try. Just like before, you can type more to get even more options. Let's try creating a 3D character like a cute cartoon boy and see what we get. You're not limited to characters, you can also do objects, landscapes, or anything else you want. Here are some ideas if you're interested in doing an airplane. I ran another test on the three AI image generators, this time for a render of a cute boy on a sunny day at the beach. The results came out pretty cute and much faster than it would take to model and render this yourself. For the second test, I tried a futuristic car. Feel free to try different prompts to see what works best for you. The whole point of these formulas is to help you come up with ideas more quickly. They're not meant to replace your own creativity. The third formula is designed for photography, helping you get realistic photos based on your ideas. I set up the formula to adjust based on the subject. So, if the subject is food, it'll start with food photo, or if it's about people, it'll start with portrait. Most of these AIs still struggle with generating eyes, faces, and hands, but they do a good job with objects and food. For example, they can create a really nice picture of an apple pie or even photos of animals. If you don't get too specific with your subjects, the AI can get pretty creative on its own. I tested the formula using an apple pie prompt and got some really nice and delicious looking results. For the second test, I used a prompt about a dog running on a sandy beach at sunset. The third test was a portrait of a radiant girl in a flower field. All of these gave me some pretty good images. The last formula is a short and easy one to remember, great for when you are in a hurry. Just use describe in 40 words, and then add your subject and any details. Like I did here with describe in 40 words a cute cartoon white bunny, and you'll get nice, simple prompts that you can use. If you want more, just ask for more prompts, or ask to change the one you got. You can add things like the environment, lights, and mood to make it more detailed if you want. Here's a quick test using the prompt for a cute cartoon white bunny in winter. This simple formula makes it easy to get good results fast. The formulas are too long to fit in YouTube comments or the description, so I'll post them in my Facebook community group. That way, you can easily copy and paste them into ChatGPT.
Let me know in the comments or on my Facebook group what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Pixaroma for more videos like this. Have a great day.